Palestine is a geographic region in Western Asia between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River. It is sometimes considered to include adjoining territories. The name was used by ancient Greek writers, and was later used for the Roman province Syria Palestina, the Byzantine Palestina Prima, and the Islamic provincial district of Jumtfil Aston. The region is also known as the Land of Israel, the Holy Land or Promised Land, and historically has been known as the southern portion of wider regional designations such as Canaan, Syria, Asham, and the Levant. Situated at a strategic location between Egypt, Syria and Arabia, and the birthplace of Judaism and Christianity, the region has a long and tumultuous history as a crossroads for religion, culture, commerce, and politics. The region has been controlled by numerous peoples, including ancient Egyptians, Canaanites, Israelites, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians. Ancient Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, the Arab Rashiduns, Umayyad, Abbasid and Fatimid Caliphates, Crusaders, Ayyubids, Mamluks, Mongols, Ottomans, the British and modern Israelis and Palestinians. The boundaries of the region have changed throughout history. Today, the region comprises the State of Israel and the Palestinian territories in which the State of Palestine was declared. Etymology Modern archaeology has identified twelve ancient inscriptions from Egyptian and Assyrian records recording similar-sounding names. The term Pelset is found in five inscriptions referring to a neighboring people or land starting from c. 1150 BCE during the 20th dynasty of Egypt. The first known mention is at the temple at Medinet Habu which refers to the Pelset among those who fought with Egypt in Ramesses III's reign, and the last known is 300 years later on Paddy Izet's statue. Seven known Assyrian inscriptions refer to the region of Palashto, or Pilastu, beginning with Adad Nireri III in the Nimrud slab in c. 800 BCE through to a treaty made by Ezahaddon more than a century later. Neither the Egyptian nor the Assyrian sources provided clear regional boundaries for the term. The first clear use of the term Palestine to refer to the entire area between Phoenicia and Egypt was in 5th century. Century BC ancient Greece, when Herodotus wrote of a district of Syria called Palestine in the histories, which included the Judean mountains and the Jordan Rift Valley. Approximately a century later, Aristotle used a similar definition for the region in meteorology, in which he included the Dead Sea. Later Greek writers such as Polemon and Pausanias also used the term to refer to the same region, which was followed by Roman writers such as Ovid. Tibullus, Pomponius Mela, Pliny the Elder, Dio Chrysostom, Statius, Plutarch as well as Roman Judean writers Philo of Alexandria and Josephus. The term was first used to denote an official province in c. 135 CE, when the Roman authorities, following the suppression of the Bar Kokhba revolt, combined Eudea province with Galilee and the Paralia to form Syria Palestina. There is circumstantial evidence linking Hadrian with the name change, but the precise date is not certain and the assertion of some scholars that the name change was intended to complete the dissociation with Judea is disputed. The term is generally accepted to be a translation of the biblical name Peleshet. The term and its derivates are used more than 250 times in Masoretic-derived versions of the Hebrew Bible, of which 10 uses are in the Torah, with undefined boundaries, and almost 200 of the remaining references are in the Book of Judges and the Books of Samuel. The term is rarely used in the Septuagint who used a transliteration land of Philistorim different from the contemporary Greek place name Palestine. The Septuagint instead used the term Alephaloi throughout the books of Judges and Samuel, such that the term Philistines has been interpreted to mean non-Israelites of the promised land when used in the context of Samson. Saul and David and rabbinic sources explain that these peoples were different from the Philistines of the book of Genesis. 
During the Byzantine period, the region of Palestine within Syria Palestina was subdivided into Palestina Prima and Secunda, and an area of land including the Negev and Sinai became Palestina Salutaris. Following the Muslim conquest, place names that were in use by the Byzantine administration generally continued to be used in Arabic. The use of the name of Palestine became common in early modern English, was used in English and Arabic during the Mutasarifate of Jerusalem and was revived as an official place name with the British mandate for Palestine. Some other terms that have been used to refer to all or part of this land include Canaan, Land of Israel, Great Assyria, the Holy Land, Eudea Province, Judea, Coal Syria, Israel Hashlama, Kingdom of Israel, Kingdom of Jerusalem, Zion, Retenu, Southern Syria, Southern Levant and Syria Palestina. History Overview situated at a strategic location between Egypt, Syria and Arabia and the birthplace of Judaism and Christianity. The region has a long and tumultuous history as a crossroads for religion, culture, commerce, and politics. The region has been controlled by numerous peoples, including ancient Egyptians, Canaanites, Israelites, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, ancient Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, the Arab Rashiduns, Umayyad, Abbasid and Fatimid Caliphates, Crusaders, Ayyubids, Mamluks, Mongols, Ottomans, the British and modern Israelis and Palestinians. Modern archaeologists and historians of the region refer to their field of study as Syro-Palestinian archaeology. Ancient period The region was among the earliest in the world to see human habitation, agricultural communities and civilization. During the Bronze Age, independent Canaanite city-states were established and were influenced by the surrounding civilizations of ancient Egypt. Mesopotamia, Phoenicia, Minoan Crete, and Syria. Between 1550-1400 BCE, the Canaanite cities became vassals to the Egyptian New Kingdom who held power until the 1178 BCE Battle of Jai during the wider Bronze Age collapse. The Israelites emerged from a dramatic social transformation that took place in the people of the central hill country of Canaan around 1200 BCE. With no signs of violent invasion or even a peaceful infiltration of a clearly defined ethnic group from elsewhere, the region became part of the Neo-Assyrian Empire from c. 740 BCE, which was itself replaced by the Neo-Babylonian Empire in c. 627 BCE. According to the Bible, a war with Egypt culminated in 586 BCE when Jerusalem was destroyed by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II and the local leaders of the region of Judea were deported to Babylonia. In 539 BCE, the Babylonian Empire was replaced by the Achaemenid Empire. According to the Bible and implications from the Cyrus Cylinder, the exiled population of Judea was allowed to return to Jerusalem. Southern Palestine became a province of the Achaemenid Empire, called Idumi, and the evidence from Ostraca suggests that an Abatean type society, since the Idumeans appear to be connected to the Nabataeans, took shape in southern Palestine in the 4th century BCE, and that the Kiedrite Arab kingdom penetrated throughout this area through the period of Persian and Hellenistic dominion. Classical antiquity in the 330 SBCE, Macedonian ruler Alexander the Great conquered the region, which changed hands several times during the wars of the Diadochi and later Syrian wars. It ultimately fell to the Seleucid Empire between 219-200 BCE. In 116 BCE, a Seleucid civil war resulted in the independence of certain regions including the Hasmonean Principality in the Judean Mountains. From 110 BCE, the Hasmoneans extended their authority over much of Palestine, creating a Judean Samaritan Idumean Ituran Galilean alliance. The Judean control over the wider region resulted in it also becoming known as Judea, a term that had previously only referred to the smaller region of the Judean mountains. 
Between 7363 BCE, the Roman Republic extended its influence into the region in the Third Mithridatic War, conquering Judea in 63 BCE, and splitting the former Hasmonean kingdom into five districts. The three-year ministry of Jesus, culminating in his crucifixion, is estimated to have occurred from 2830 CE. Although the historicity of Jesus is disputed by a minority of scholars, in 70 CE, Titus sacked Jerusalem, resulting in the dispersal of the city's Jews and Christians to Yavna and Pella. In 132 CE, Hadrian joined the province of Eudea with Galilee and the Beralia to form new province of Syria Palestina, and Jerusalem was renamed Elia Capitolina. Between 259 to 272, the region fell under the rule of Odanathus as king of the Palmyrene Empire. Following the victory of Christian Emperor Constantine in the civil wars of the Tetrarchy, the Christianization of the Roman Empire began, and in 326, Constantine's mother Saint Helena visited Jerusalem and began the construction of churches and shrines. Palestine became a center of Christianity, attracting numerous monks and religious scholars. The Samaritan revolts during this period caused their near extinction. In 614 CE, Palestine was annexed by another Persian dynasty, the Sassanids, until returning to Byzantine control in 628 CE. Middle Ages Palestine was conquered by the Islamic Caliphate beginning in 634 CE. In 636, the Battle of Yarmouk during the Muslim conquest of the Levant marked the start of Muslim hegemony over the region, which became known as Jumt Philastan within the province of Bilad al-Sham. The majority of the population was Christian and was to remain so until the conquest of Saladin in 1187. The Muslim conquest apparently had little impact on social and administrative continuities for several decades. The word Arab at the time referred predominantly to Bedouin nomads, though Arab settlement is attested in the Judean highlands and near Jerusalem by the 5th century, and some tribes had converted to Christianity. The local population engaged in farming, which was considered demeaning, and were called Nabat, referring to Aramaic-speaking villages. A hadith brought in the name of a Muslim freedman who settled in Palestine, ordered the Muslim Arabs not to settle in the villages. For he who abides in villages it is as if he abides in graves. In 661, with the assassination of Ali, Muawiyah I became the caliph of the Islamic world after being crowned in Jerusalem. The Dome of the Rock, completed in 691, was the world's first great work of Islamic architecture. The Umayyads, who had spurred a strong economic resurgence in the area, were replaced by the Abbasids in 750. Ramla became the administrative center for the following centuries, while Tiberias became a thriving center of Muslim scholarship. From 878, Palestine was ruled from Egypt by semi-autonomous rulers for almost a century, beginning with the Turkish freeman Ahmad ibn Tulin, for whom both Jews and Christians prayed when he lay dying and ending with the Ikshidid rulers. Reverence for Jerusalem increased during this period, with many of the Egyptian rulers choosing to be buried there. However, the later period became characterized by persecution of Christians as the threat from Byzantium grew. The Fatimids, with a predominantly Berber army, conquered the region in 970, a date that marks the beginning of a period of unceasing warfare between numerous enemies, which destroyed Palestine, and in particular devastating its Jewish population. Between 1071 to 73, Palestine was captured by the Great Seljuk Empire, only to be recaptured by the Fatimids in 1098, who then lost the region to the Crusaders in 1099. Their control of Jerusalem and most of Palestine lasted almost a century until their defeat by Saladin's forces in 1187, after which most of Palestine was controlled by the Ayyubids. A rump crusader state in the northern coastal cities survived for another century, but, despite seven further crusades, 
The Crusaders were no longer a significant power in the region. The Fourth Crusade, which did not reach Palestine, led directly to the decline of the Byzantine Empire, dramatically reducing Christian influence throughout the region. The Mamluk Sultanate was indirectly created in Egypt as a result of the Seventh Crusade. The Mongol Empire reached Palestine for the first time in 1260, beginning with the Mongol raids into Palestine under Nestorian Christian general Kitbuka, and reaching an apex at the pivotal Battle of Ain Jalut, where they were routed by the Mamluks. Ottoman era in 1486, hostilities broke out between the Mamluks and the Ottoman Empire in a battle for control over Western Asia, and the Ottomans captured Palestine in 1516. Between the mid-16th and 17th centuries, a close-knit alliance of three local dynasties, the Ridwans of Gaza, the Tuarabes of al lajan and the Farouks of Nablus, governed Palestine on behalf of the central Ottoman authorities. In the 18th century, the Zaydani clan under the leadership of Zahir al-Umar ruled large parts of Palestine autonomously until the Ottomans were able to defeat them in the Galilee strongholds in 1775-76. Acre's regional dominance was further elevated under Zahir's successor Jezza Pasha at the expense of Damascus. In 1830, on the eve of Muhammad Ali's invasion, the port transferred control of the Sanjaks of Jerusalem and Nablus to Abdullah Pasha, the governor of Acre. According to Silverberg, in regional and cultural terms this move was important for creating an Arab Palestine detached from Greater Syria. According to Pap, it was an attempt to reinforce the Syrian front in face of Muhammad Ali's invasion. Two years later, Palestine was conquered by Muhammad Ali's Egypt, but Egyptian rule was challenged in 1834 by a countrywide popular uprising against conscription and other measures considered intrusive by the population. Its suppression devastated many of Palestine's villages and the major towns. In 1840, Britain intervened and returned control of the Levant to the Ottomans in return for further capitulations. The death of Akhil Agir marks the last local challenge to Ottoman centralization in Palestine, and beginning in the 1860s, Palestine underwent an acceleration in its socio-economic development due to its incorporation into the global, and particularly European, economic pattern of growth. The beneficiaries of this process were Arabic-speaking Muslims and Christians who emerged as a new layer within the Arab elite. The end of the 19th century saw the beginning of Zionist immigration and the revival of the Hebrew language and culture. The movement was publicly supported by Great Britain during World War I with the Balfour Declaration of 1917. British mandate and partition the British began their Sinai and Palestine campaign in 1915. The war reached southern Palestine in 1917, progressing to Gaza and around Jerusalem by the end of the year. The British secured Jerusalem in December 1917. They moved into the Jordan Valley in 1918 and a campaign by the Entente into northern Palestine led to victory at Megiddo in September. The British were formally awarded the mandate to govern the region in 1922. The non-Jewish Palestinians revolted in 1920, 1929, and 1936. In 1947, following World War II and the Holocaust, the British government announced its desire to terminate the mandate, and the United Nations General Assembly adopted in November 1947 a Resolution 181 recommending partition into an Arab state, a Jewish state and the special international regime for the city of Jerusalem. The Jewish leadership accepted the proposal, but the Arab Higher Committee rejected it. A civil war began immediately after the resolution's adoption. The State of Israel was declared in May 1948. Post-1948 in the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, Israel captured and incorporated a further 26% of the Mandate territory. 
Jordan captured the region of Judea and Samaria, renaming it the West Bank, while the Gaza Strip was captured by Egypt. Following the 1948 Palestinian exodus, also known as al nakba the 700,000 Palestinians who fled or were driven from their homes were not allowed to return following the Lausanne Conference of 1949. In the course of the Six-Day War in June 1967, Israel captured the rest of Mandate Palestine from Jordan and Egypt, and began a policy of establishing Jewish settlements in those territories. From 1987 to 1993, the first Palestinian Intifada against Israel took place, which included the declaration of the State of Palestine in 1988 and ended with the 1993 Oslo Peace Accords and the creation of the Palestinian National Authority. In 2000, the Second Intifada began, and Israel built a separation barrier. In the 2005 Israeli disengagement from Gaza, Israel withdrew all settlers and military presence from the Gaza Strip, but maintained military control of numerous aspects of the territory including its borders, airspace and coast. Israel's ongoing military occupation of the Gaza Strip, the West Bank and East Jerusalem continues to be the world's longest military occupation in modern times. In November 2012, the status of Palestinian delegation in the United Nations was upgraded to non-member observer status the State of Palestine.